the US, Japanese and South Korean militaries are still uh, analyzing the launch um, in order to ascertain what, exactly what kind of missile was involved. The US Pacific Command has said in the last few minutes that it believes that all the indications point to an inter intermediate range ballistic missile rather than an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile. What we do know is that uh, the missile launched this morning around just before 7 a.m. Japan time flew further and higher than the missile that passed over Japan uh, at the end of August. So this would indicate, in fact, that North Korea is still making progress in um, achieving its stated aim of acquiring, developing a missile, a long-range missile, that's capable of striking the U.S. mainland. And how seriously did people in Japan uh, react to the warning uh, to take shelter? Well, the government's taking it very seriously. The, the top government spokesman, Yoshihide Suga, has been on the television live this morning, calling this an extreme provocation that Japan will not tolerate. As for the Japanese people themselves, I think it's important to remember that the, these missiles, the, uh, the one this morning and uh, the one that was launched late last month, passed over Hokkaido, right in Japan's far north, a very sparsely populated area of Hokkaido, and, and flew over uh, Japanese territory for uh, two minutes before landing in the Pacific Ocean, about 2,000 kilometers east of Hokkaido. Now, those um, automatic text alerts that, that woke everybody up uh, at the end of last month were sounded again this morning, and residents were told to to take shelter. Now, whether they did that or not so early in the morning, and given that this is the second time in the space of a couple of weeks that, that this has happened, uh, isn't, it isn't clear at the moment. I think people are concerned, uh, but I think it would be going too far to say that they're panicked by this. And why is North Korea continuing to ratchet up tension in the region with these missile launches? Well, I think there are a couple of reasons. Um, one, the timing is significant. This, of course, comes just a few days after the UN Security Council passed yet another round of pretty tough sanctions uh, against the regime in Pyongyang. So you could say that uh, they've decided to launch the missile today as a show of defiance, really, uh, against the, the US and the rest of the international community. But it also, uh, I think, proves that North Korea is going to do exactly what it said it's going to do for the past several months, and that is despite the condemnation that these launches invite and the condemnation of its recent nuclear test, of course, North Korea is not going to stop developing weapons of mass destruction. And, uh, you know, now that the uh, possibility of any kind of negotiations are extremely dim, uh, it's clear from what we know uh, that the regime has said that it's uh, not going to stop developing missiles and testing nuclear weapons until it has a nuclear-tipped missile that's capable of striking not just Guam or Hawaii, but the U.S. mainland.